So here's what I'm gonna do. I will be reacting to Furina's character teaser in both English version and Japanese version first and then I will be reacting to her character demo in both uh, English version and Japanese version as well. Lastly, we'll check out um, some of the, the English voice actor and the Japanese voice actors are the probably notable roles. So let's start things off by checking out um, Furina's character teaser in English version first. Whoa. Opera walks the line between truth and fiction. For though the story is fictional, as far as the characters are concerned, their fate is real. I'm getting an old school cinema vibe or something of some kind. Lies the rub. Are you and I the audience or characters on the stage? Nobody can know for sure. After all, nothing is easier to fool than the senses. We know only one thing for certain that the prophecy is true. Because in this show, the prophecy is a part of all characters' fates. Don't believe me? So, you still haven't noticed that I'm not even speaking to you. This is just a recording playing in your head. What? Now, do you see? The prophecy has come true. And everything has been lost to the Great Flood. Oh, right. The prophecy. Yeah. And you... Yeah. So this is what happens if and so, comes while true. Fate may seem like and, it's playing uh, cruel uh, jokes on you, fourteen, only fate will not deceive you. If stuff happens to Fontaine, if the prophecy is true, unless you can first deceive fate itself. Huh. Okay. Unless you can deceive fate itself. I wonder what that means though. Okay, you know what? Let's check out that teaser one more time. But this time in Japanese version. Gekito <laughs> wa... なぜなら、たとえフィクションでも登場人物たちにとってそこに存在する運命は真実だからそこで問題君と僕は劇を楽しむ観客それは確かめようがない感覚より騙しやすいものはないんだからねでも一つだけ確かなのはあれ予言は本物の意味なぜならこの劇が予言は全ての人の運命の一部だ まだ気づいていないのかい僕は何にも言ってない全部君の頭の中の記録に過ぎないんだこれで分かっただろ予言はやはり本当だった何もかも沈んで僕にはもう君しかいない。君のボーダーレフ。だから、ほら。よくいたずらしてくれるとはいえ。
運命は人を騙しはしないってことさ。騙せたなら話は別だ運命をね I have a feeling right this character te teaser just like how、um, other character teaser is right is basically a teaser to their respective、um, story quest from the way I see it Just like how、um, the here's、um, some characters,、um, character visits, such as the likes of、um, the here,、um, Novilet, wait, Nahida, I think Nahida's as well. I think Nahida's also,、um, also has the character, her character visit also has a tie into the,、uh, the story quest in a way. But in terms of impact, right? It's not really as、um, impactful as、um, compared to the other、um, other Akon teasers, such as the likes of、um, Raiden Shogun's and Nahida's. Nahida's one, without a shadow of a doubt, is the most impactful one of them all. Because I did not see that the, the, the end of the teaser coming,、uh, I kid you not. I didn't see it at the end of the fighting,、uh, at the end of the, the teaser, where as to how, what, how did she got、um, locked up for 500 years. And second comes、um, right in, right in, where as time goes by, right, she's、um, suffering from losing the people she's closest to the most, in which, she, which is why she is、uh, pursuing.、Um, Eternity up until the part where the traveler encounters her. So, as for Furina, right, I feel like she,、um, just by the, the one line she is she trying to deceive、um, fate itself, right? It's as, though, it's as though she is trying to de-、um, trying to figure out how to defeat the prophecy, but Uh, unfortunately, it's not as impactful as、uh, Nahida and Raiden Shogun's、um, character teaser. But without a shadow of a doubt, right? I would definitely will be checking out、um, the Archon Quest,、um, Chapter 4, Act 5, I believe, and also Furina's Story Quest. Because I'm curious, how are they gonna fight the prophecy where、um, Fontaine will drown and eventually everyone,、uh, everyone、um, in Fontaine dies or some kind? Anyhow,、um, let's check the English version of Furina's character demo. Gentlemen, welcome to the most spectacular show in the history of Fontaine. Please put your hands together for our national icon, Fontaine's biggest celebrity, one of the seven archons of Tibet, the Regina of all orders, interest, peoples, and laws, Arena de Fontaine. Oh, black. She's black over here. In the teaser, she's white. <clears throat> well, over here, she's black.、Uh, mm. Vocal cords are ready. Blood sugar replenished. Let the show begin! Damn the music. Going? Okay. My dear. Uh oh. Good music incoming! And you know what I just realized? In the character, as I mentioned, in the character seasons, she was white. But over here, she's black. Gentleman Usher! Gentleman Usher? 
Oh, the names of the pets. Mademoiselle Caroletta. What was that? What was that? Oh, and now she's white. The music, though, holy crap. What the hell? Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Oh, grabbing it. There's lyrics as well? Well, this is a first. And you know what this um this character demo um, the vibe that the, the character demo demo gives me is giving me the similar vibe as um what was that the name of that the the old school uh the old school movie uh, was it the sound of music ah the sound of music yeah the sound of music the 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 ending part of the character demo is giving me the, the sound of music vibe man like what the hell. And the tone of the um, of the character demo is way different than the, the character teaser. And not to mention, right, Hoyaverse really went all out on Furina's um, character demo. But then again, she is the Hydro, um, whatchamacallit, the Hydro Archon. So, Hoyaverse really gotta go, we gotta go all in, buddy. We gotta go all in. And... Uh, and I gotta say, I believe among um, all of the character demos that I've watched so far, Furina's character demo is probably the most cinematic among all character demos that I have watched so far. I mean, if you don't believe me, right, let's watch that um, character demo one more time. Um, no, 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 I, I will not see it, I will not see it in the Japanese yet, I will not see it in the Japanese yet, I want to watch it in English one more time first, and then we'll jump right into the Japanese one. Hold on, let me, let me shut, shut this annotation first again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most spectacular show in the history of Monte. Please put your hands together for and our national And this might be the longest character Monte, demo I have ever watched today. I might be wrong. Because it's a three hour... I'm not, not three, it's a three hours. It's a three minute, um... Three minute uh, character demo. So she starts things off by, by going... Going black. I'm just genuinely curious, what's the, her going black and then white? What does that mean? Does that mean she she she, she has a different personality or some kind? Or it's just that she has a she has a different form? Yeah, just by just Yeah, from here on out we we can pretty much know that the music is a banger. Like I kid you not it's a banger. Damn, who you was really cool. I'm going all out on this one. What the? Okay, I just want to know. 
did she try to like imitate the the four archons or some kind? And now she going go she going white. Buddy, what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> yeah, this part, from this part, alright. From this part, alright. Oh, like, it's giving me um, the school, uh, the sound of music vibe already. Very musical. It's giving me the, the musical um, vibe, old school musical vibe. Well, gotta gotta give props to Hoyovers for putting a tons of effort on Furina's um, character demo. Uh, Without a shout out, without. This is probably one of the best character demos I have ever watched today. Okay, you know what? Let's watch the Japanese version of the character demo. I know there's no, there's not much difference, but I just want to check out. I just want to check out the the Japanese version just for the fun of it. I just don't know how the, the, the Japanese version sounds like. Oh, okay. So they recorded this um, in entirely in English, and at least this time they put Japanese subtitles right at the bottom. Tataglia, Tataglia has a form change as well. I forgot, I forgot. Tataglia has a form change.
Gurina has left the building. I just feel like one is saying that line. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay. Now that I have checked out both uh, the character demo and the character teaser for Furina, let's well, let's check out the uh, the, vo the the voice actors, the English voice actor, and the Japanese voice actors other roles. The English voice actress for Furina is Amber Lee Connors, while the Japanese voice actress for Furina is Minase. Um, Inori -san. So let's check out um, Amber Lee Connors' other roles first. Amber Lee Connors is uh, mostly known for the voice act, uh, the voice of Ino from Guilty Gear Strive. Komi, um, ko oh, um, Shoko Komi from Komi Can't Communicate. Um, very good show, by the way. Um, Peak Finger from Attack on Titan. Peak Finger. Um, well, well she, I believe she's one of the one of the titans, and then um, she's of course she's Lina from Genshin Impact. And then her other roles, um, Room Factory, um, Sakuya from Room Factory Three, um, Majuli from Rhapsody, um, Anak Zahar from Tower of God New World. Nakimi from Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. She's uh, Maxwell and Mary from um, Goddess of Victory in Nikkei. Shino Madarame from Bleach. Thousand Year Blood War. I already mean, should check out the um, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War as fast as possible. And um, Subasa from Tower of Fantasy. Okay. So, long story short, right? Her most notable role is. Um, Ino from Gigi Gear Strive, Shoko Komi from Komi Chan Communicate, Peak Finger from Attack on Titan, and Purina from Genshin Impact. Okay, next up, um, let's check out um, Minase Inori's son's um, other noticeable role. So, as you can see right up here, this is um, Minase Inori's son. Uh, her most notable role, here, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen. Yes, um, she's Ram from the V Zero series. Um, Nakano Itsuki from Gotobu no Hanayome. Um, Hestia from um, Dungeon. What's the name? Thing of the of the of the of this anime name for Dungeon me. Um, done much. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Yeah. Uh, she says here for me, he wants to try to pick up a dungeon, uh, pick up a girl in dungeon. Kafu, uh, Shino Kafu from Gochumu uh, is is your order a rabbit, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, is the order a, ra a rabbit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shino Kafu from is the order a rabbit. And she's um, John from Vanitas no. Kate, Vanitas no Kate in English means um, the case study of Vanitas. Uh, Chito from Shoujo Sumasu, I know I guess. And um, Makino Hara Shoko um, from Sushi and Buta Yaro. Um, Rascal does not dream of a, of a bunny girl. Wait, 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 I mean it's fun. Rascal does not dream of bunny girl Zenpai, yeah. Then um, Gakuro Burashi, she's Takeya Yuki from Gakuro Burashi and um, Kowa Yoshino from Masamune Kun or No Revenge. Um, well, uh, Shida Kuraha from. So, long I. Rhinus from Not El Meloy 2. I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. Uh as God, Ellis, Carol Mellis, um Dienheim from um Sinfo Gear. Um Alright, oh she's Tozawa Misui. Um I forgot her what was her in-game name? Uh, ah Mito! Mito! She's Mito from the Sword Art Online Progressive um, series. So yeah, long story short, right? 
um, Minase Inori is um, best known as Ren from V Zero, Nakano Itsuki from Gotobun no Hanayome, Kestia from Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up a Girl in a Dungeon, and um, and Chino Kafu from um, Is the Order of Rabbit. And that's pretty much um, my reaction to Furina's character teaser and character demo.